Hello, you are on the air with V, Christy, and Shannon. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I just started my first week of university, so I'm doing really well. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, that's a, that's a really exciting way to frame it because that first week of university can usually be pretty terrifying. Yeah. So congratulations <laughs> that you actually have, like, free time and are watching YouTube. Oh, the first week is usually just syllabus. Uh -huh. anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's actually accurate, although today I have, I'm taking a women, gender, sexuality studies course, and I went to the book, I mean, to the library, and I bought, got, like, so many books today. <gasps> nice. Oof, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yeah. See, that sounds like an oh. amazing time to me. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, really, and it's weird, too, because at the end of this month, I'm starting hormones, so it's going to be really weird. Oh, wow. Congratulations mm -hmm. again. This is a big month for you, then. Yes. Yeah, it is. It's a really weird pack, jam packed month. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm calling today because I just wanted to personally thank um, Shannon Q for the amazing work she's done on YouTube and the YouTube community. Because Math Blade, is that you? I <laughs> huh? who am I talking to? <laughs> uh, it's parents. Like parents. Parents. Okay, sorry, parents. Go ahead. <laughs> it's fine. No, I just wanted to personally thank you because. Um, you know, I've watched the work that you've done with Mr. Atheist and um, a lot of like talking about like the quote unquote Christian counseling that's very detrimental to people. And uh, like I've had experience with that sort of counseling and it's just very validating to see someone talk about it and really bring it to light. Mm. I'm so sorry. So did you, would, you, did, did yeah. you go to like an ACA deliverance ministry type counseling? Like, or sorry, NCCA um, no, it was different. It was called Celebrate Recovery. Are you familiar with that? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it's very much modeled after a 12-step type program. Mm. It's usually centered around addiction, but it's also pretty loosely managed, so it can be it can be kind of anything, depending on who's leading. I haven't looked at that yet. I'm, I'm in the midst of looking at another one. Parents, thank you. I'm overwhelmed. That's yeah. so kind. <laughs> Oh, of course. No, really. I mean, I'm just, I, I think this is the smallest thing I could do for everything that, you know, that few people are doing. You guys put your life and everything into these YouTube channels. And I, if I had money, I would subscribe and become Patreons to all of you guys. <laughs> oh, thank so, you so much. Anyway. What you just gave me is worth yeah, no. significantly more than money. So thank you very, very much. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, of course. I'm a little teary because oh, I'm, so I'm a weird, I'm weird. <laughs> cry. That's so kind. Thank you. That's awesome. We have so many more segments. You don't cry yet. No <laughs> cry. Did I cry through all of them? Is that a rule? You guys didn't tell me I couldn't cry. <laughs> oh my it's no crying in podcasting. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling, parents. We really appreciate it. Good luck with school. Yeah, of course. And Sorry, it was a little bit random, but I appreciate no, it. No, no. This is exactly, exactly what we want to hear. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Call back. Let us know how uh, university and everything is going. Yeah, I'm going to Western Washington University. It's kind of near Canada, like Vancouver, BC. It's like oh, okay. in a small town. Uh, if you guys don't even know where that is. I know you two of you are in Texas, and I think Shannon Q, I think you're in Toronto, right? I'm in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Sorry. Nova Scotia. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Sorry. Don't worry about that. Tor Tor I, Toronto okay. is awful compared to Nova Scotia, though, just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's I'm fine. Like, I am insulted, I'm in but it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get over it. Oh. I'm writing down the name of what you celebrate recovery. I'm writing it on a thank piece you. of because I'd like to look into it because I hadn't heard about it. So thank you for letting me know, because if there's anything that I love, it's researching crackpot pseudo psychological programs that are very loosely licensed and present mm -hmm. themselves as though they are reputable and um, effective and well-researched. Mm -hmm. That's one of my pet peeves in, in life since I got into this realm, discovering that Christian counseling was even a thing mm -hmm. was, was yeah. a day of pure rage <sighs> that, that only a couple people had to deal with, but it was a lot to deal with because I was not happy. 
so I'll, I'll look into that. So thank you for letting me know that they exist. Yeah, and of course. Also, I'm um, incredibly I sorry will... that they were damaging to you. Oh, no, I mean, I, well, I, I appreciate your, uh, your apology, really. I do appreciate that sentiment, but I've been getting like help from secular, um, psychology, like psychologists and such. So I've been going through a lot of, and um, now I'm in a like trans support group and I have a lot of friends here that are totally, you know, chill with this sort of thing. So I'm, I'm doing very well mentally right now. Good. Uh, but yeah, I was just going to say like, oh yeah, of course. No, uh, sorry, did I interrupt you? No, no, please keep going. I was just going to um, add one thing I want to add to the Celebrate Recovery is that they're based out of some church called Saddleback Church and somewhere, I think, in California. Mm -hmm. And they um, they have different things from alcoholism to, quote unquote, pornography addiction and, quote unquote, same sex attraction. They call it SSA. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like it's a sick sickness, not like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They do, you throw, if you throw an acronym on it, it must be a problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely hear yep. that. Something to medically pathologize, mm -hmm. uh, which is, of course, yeah. ridiculous and thoroughly debunked by the World Health Organization and the American Psychological yeah. Association, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But, yeah, it's uh, it's terrible to hear that, that these things not only exist, but honestly, if you... If you're in a major city or even if you're in the shadow of a major city, you can likely find specifically Celebrate Recovery, never mind all of the different permutations and different models and versions. Uh, and it's uh, it's an unfortunate world to be in. So uh, I guess I, I'll join her in just saying, you know, thank you, Shannon, for helping to debunk these sorts of things and keeping them on your radar. Thank you. I, I, yeah. I appreciate that. It's a endeavor of, of pure rage. Watching people make money off of indoctrinating people into self-hatred yeah and increasing harm when they should when they when they purport themselves and present themselves to be the person that you can turn to when you need the help the most is yeah the, it's it's the worst to me. Like I've been meaning to do a video on conversion therapy for a long time, and every time I look into it, I get like this. Like I get to the point that like I can't because yeah, which is selfish of me because I've never had to go through something like that. But just reading the stories and doing the research, it's just <sighs> it's <laughs> right. Enough. Yeah, it's bad. It's it's bad. There's a reason I paste them out a couple months at a time because they're bad. Yeah. Mm. They're mm -hmm. bad. Gosh. Well, thank you so much for calling, parents. We really appreciate it. Yeah, no, of course. Thanks. And I um, I want to just let you guys know that no matter what's been happening at the ACA the last few months, that, you know, everyone is human. And, like, with, I'm talking about the whole trans. Um, the kerfuffle. The, I can't remember the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I mean, whatever happened, I still, there are side, many sides of the story, and I acknowledge all sides, but I just, I really still love this organization, like, no matter what happens. I mean, people are people. They're going to mess up, so, you know. Well, well, I appreciate that. Certainly appreciate that and yeah. just want to, I guess, reaffirm that uh, we appreciate everybody remaining involved uh, and recognize that, yeah, there was a really difficult time for a lot of us for a while, uh, but the folks who are here are working really, really hard and we're really proud that you're, you know, still part of our organization. So thank you. Of course. Yeah, no problem. I I appreciate everything. Okay. Thanks so much, parents. Have a great night. Thank you, parents. You too. Bye. Oh man, I remember the very first time that um, uh, I I was leaving New Jersey to mm -hmm. go to Portland for grad school, and it was that last summer there before I left. I had just come to terms with my bisexuality; hadn't come out yet, but had just like started realizing to myself, like, oh, oh, this is a thing. <laughs> um, so I was uh, before I went. My mom was kind of like, "Can you please come to our therapist once before you go?" And it, I, I honestly, I don't know too much about him, except that he was a Christian therapist. I don't know if he was part of any of these groups. I remember sitting in the waiting room because, you know, it's my mom. What am I going to do? <laughs> Say no. Sure. Um, and I had just gotten the most bisexual haircut ever. And it like both sides were shaved and like the middle was all slicked back. And I was just sitting there like, yep, yeah, he's going <laughs> to tag me right away. But it's fine. <laughs>
<laughs> and then I went to Portland and blended right in because everybody had that haircut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 